storm of cherry blossoms. This channel is all about is my wife and I building a house on this wild mountain here in coastal Japan. You can hear that strange sound and it doesn't sound like a bird. It doesn't sound like any monkey I've heard. It's definitely not a boar. A little bit of burnt edges on the hamburger from the side of the pan. Gives it a crunchiness. Mm. He's definitely, he's definitely there. Like right up above the tiny house. I'm doing something different this weekend. I'm actually starting the video in the evening. It is um, about five o'clock now. The sun is still on the opposite mountain, but it's left the, the tiny house area. I'm doing some camping this weekend. Uh, it's a trial run and, and uh, I hope it goes well. I've got a little preparation, a little setup to do right now. Um, first, before I lose the light and then um, it's campfire and cooking. Sometimes it's not a bad thing to be camping in a tool shed. I'm not sure how much light these lights are giving me, but I do like the atmosphere. Um, off camera, 
Um, it's just a really dim orange and it's really peaceful. Uh, the mountain is really quiet right now and the fire is going. Um, the potatoes are beginning to fry. They'll take a while. B is having her supper right now as well. So um, all good. Very peaceful evening. First camp out on the mountain ever. And um, <laughs> so far so good. For spices, um, I've got salt, pepper, a thing called Johnny's Allspice, and some turmeric. I think I'll basically go with these three, salt, pepper, and, um, and Johnny's. And then I've got oil, and soy sauce, and vinegar, and an Italian dressing um, to add to the salad. My hamburgers, I've got three hamburgers, but they've all broken apart. They were patties beforehand. And um, I'll just fry them as is um, after I finish with the onions and potatoes. This is a nice uh, julienne, uh, carrot, radish, and cucumber salad. And I'm going to mix it, oh, I think I'm gonna mix it in this cup. Some, some oil, some soy sauce. some vinegar. Very little vinegar. Mmm. Oh, that's done. potatoes and onions and spiced up hamburger oh, that's a meal That's perfectly spiced. Just very lucky. B. Stay here. Be careful. Don't run away. Mm. There's a little bit of burnt edges on the hamburger from the side of the pan. Gives it a crunchiness. Mm. B, you have to calm down. So as I finish my meal, I just want to spend a minute or so talking about the channel. This video is a departure for the channel. I don't usually do cooking and camping videos. Um, but if you're just jumping into this because you saw a cooking and camping uh, thumbnail on YouTube, uh, welcome. But Shimoto Life isn't really about cooking and camping, though I don't mind doing this and it's kind of interesting and I may do more of it. What this channel is all about is my wife and I building a house on this wild mountain here in coastal Japan. 
we're about three hours south of Tokyo in a town called Shimoda. Um, about three, three years ago, I guess, I bought this three acres of land on this very steep mountain. And for the last two years, I've been carving a livable space out of it. And there's lots of videos about um, logging and, and lumberjacking, uh, as well as excavating and making roads and making level areas. Um, it's, it's, it's not a really, really big place, um, but uh, it's a very steep, in, it was a very steep, inaccessible place. Uh, so getting into the mountain has been a big part of the last two years. Um, building the tiny house right behind me has also been a big part of it because this, is a, this was a practice session for the real house that I'm going to start building this summer, um, just right around the corner. Um, it's, it's going to be, I don't know, I guess about a 1,300 square foot house. It's not a cabin per se, um, but I'm going to build it by hand, by myself, using timber frame techniques. Timber framing, if you're not familiar with that, in the Western sense is big timbers, big beams, big lumber, and no nails. Okay, you focus on joinery um, to bring the house together. And I'm really looking forward to it, but I knew nothing about it two years ago. That's why I built the tiny house. And there's a whole series, I think there's about 35 videos uh, on the tiny house. And please um, jump back and have a look at them. So that's, that's what I wanted to um, share with you about the channel. Um, we're not really about camping and cooking. Uh, I'm interested in this and I, I watch a lot of them myself. Um, but uh, this is all about building a home and a homestead here for my wife and I and our various animals on this little piece of wild mountain in Japan. So please um, continue watching if you're interested. So tonight is actually the very first night that I'm staying on the mountain, on my mountain, um, since I bought it three years ago. I've never done any camping here. Built the tiny house a year ago now. No, 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 not quite a year ago. Maybe nine months ago now. And um, I've never stayed here. So I was actually apprehensive about doing it. <laughs> Even though I'm here every weekend for the last two years, I know this place left, right, and center, um, and and we're you know steps from a road, but we're we're about probably a 20 minutes drive from a town. But I was still apprehensive because there's monkeys, there's boars, there's owls, there's deer. Um, I've caught all of them on my on my um, trail cams. And if, if you haven't seen that video, there's a video called uh, The Animals of Shimoda Life. And so I actually was apprehensive about coming out here in the dark because of the wild animals. Right now, you know, after a good meal, the fire's dying down. I don't have any qualms about being out here tonight. Um, I'm going to sit out here and have a, um, have a after supper, um, cigar and uh, and a nip of some fine single malt scotch and then I'm going to go inside and and you know make my make my way into the evening He's very talkative. It's almost like a dog yelping. There are no wild dogs here in Japan that I know of. It could be it could be a I've never heard one before, but a tanuki, which is a raccoon fox. I've never heard a tanuki screech or call like that.
sunshine. Well, this is my first breakfast on the mountain, and I gotta say, it's pretty good, <laughs> pretty tasty. Well, the outdoors always makes things tastier. But, objectively speaking, it is pretty tasty. The coffee is working uh, fantastic. The coffee maker is working fantastic. The coffee is tasting great. The coffee maker is a gift from my brother and sister-in-law, oh, maybe five, six years ago. They had it out at their lake, and um, I think it was a pretty dear device for them, but I saw it, and I hadn't seen one like it in, you know, 40 years, and um, expressed uh, an interest in it, and they, gift, they gifted it to me, and it's working beautifully on the open fire. Good percolated coffee. The hand grinder took a lot more grinding than I suspected. So um, I may pre-grind my uh, beans before I come out next time. Or not, you know, it, 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 it was invigorating, got my blood running. The first night was not good. My air mattress deflated almost immediately, and that was well, probably my fault. I think I might have pushed it up against the wall and on the wall, there are some, some nails uh, or pin nails sticking through from when I put up the siding. That's <laughs> a, a real stupid mistake. Uh, but I could hear it hissing when I got up there, and then when I moved it away from the wall, it stopped hissing. I, I thought maybe it's got some self-sealing technology. Uh, but no, it was uh, flat within an hour. And, you know, for the rest of the night, I was sleeping on plywood. Well, it's been uh, quite a success, I think. Um, the evening meal last night was really great. Um, the fire worked perfectly. The food that I brought had all the um, necessities for last night's meal, fantastic. Um, this morning's meal um, was uh, really good, really tasty. A couple of implements that I need to add to my, 
my hardware collection to, to make it easier. Um, the coffee worked out fantastic. Ken and Dora, thanks very much for the coffee maker way back when. Um, the sleeping situation, we've got to work on that. Um, got to fix the air mattress or change it out and get a foam mattress or something. Might have to put some guardrails up there too just to alleviate any concerns. Um, I got to make it warmer. I got to make sure we've got enough bedding. Um, you know, we're coming into summer, so that's maybe a small issue. But overall, um, the, the first night camp out on the mountain worked perfectly. Oh, storm of cherry blossoms. Um, so now I've got to transition into work mode. Uh, it's Saturday morning. As regular viewers know, I only work on the weekends. I have a day job. Uh, I only work here on the weekends because I have a day job. So um, I've got to transition into um, weekend worker. And that means gathering up all the camping and cooking gear, putting it away, putting it out of mind, and pulling out the tools and, and, and getting my tasks lined up for the day. So I'm going to go do that. Thanks for hanging around. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And we'll see you soon.